Hey, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Mark. How are you getting on today? So, as you could kind of see from the intro, very, very slightly, I have completely filled in this area all with grass. It's still kind of growing in. There's a little bit of dirt everywhere. We'll ignore that for the time being. I definitely need to terraform. It's just like an actual sheer cliff, and that's not what I want. I wanted it to be more gradual and a nice wee gradient going down, but that's not what it is, so I'll have to make that myself. After I filled in all the grass, I decided that the beacon's quite resource heavy, so I went mining and got some of my reserves back. It was quite nice. I think honestly i probably found more diamond than i did actual iron two and a half diamond blocks versus about 20 blocks of iron i think is probably finding more diamond than it is iron so currently i don't know what today's plan is i was thinking that i was originally going to be starting on working in the ring maybe just putting down some blueprints of what i wanted maybe putting in the bit of the river just so we can have an actual idea of what i want however now that the ring has been finished i really want my elytra plus with all the resources i'm going to be having over there shulkers would be an absolute lifesaver so i am trying to organize getting everyone to come and kill the ender dragon but with a lot of people on the server, that's very, very hard. Been asking for weeks now. No one else is all that ready, which isn't ideal, but you know, can't really be that upset. However, hopefully that'll be getting done this episode. Just in case, I'm going to start preparing just a little chest for when the techs come through and everyone's like, yes, we're ready. I'm going to have all my stuff. I'm talking potions. I'm talking blocks. That's pretty much about it because my armor and my weapons are pretty much good to go anyway. So, so you know, that's kind of class. My little ender box is filling up quite nicely. I did, however, just have to go on a pilgrimage to try and get some phantoms at night so I can get their membranes so we can get the slow falling because I can't be bothered getting knocked into the void. So that's what I've been up to. How's your morning been? Realistically, I am struggling to think of other things that I need, you know. So I've got more food, so I don't forget that. This is how we get into the portal. Easy to break blocks. Silk touch. More ender pearls just so I can launch myself in case I need to. Water for the obvious. Swiftness, because who doesn't like to be fast? Strength, because I want to be a strong boy. Regen, just makes sense. Slow falling, like I said. I don't fancy falling into the void. So apart from that, I don't really know what else I need. There might be something glaringly obvious. But I'll have my pick, my shovel, my axe. I'll have my sword, and I'll have my bow. And as long as I've got one arrow, I should be set. I think I'm pretty much ready to go, you know. So that will just wait there. I'm stuck under my lily pads. That will wait there right up until everybody says that they're ready to go. Then I just need to break that, and in case of emergency we're going to the end, I've got that ready to go. I should be set. So until we are ready to go, I'm gonna do a little bit of work in here, or at least a little bit of planning. I need to work out if I am gonna build these towers, what size they're actually going to be. We can work out how tall they're going to go later on. That really does not matter. I just need to work out how actual big the base is because in my head, they'll start off wide at the bottom, gradually getting thinner up until they all go to a spire. That's the kind of idea that I have in my head, but I just don't know how big to have it down here. Would a 20 by 20 circle be too big? I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So here is a 15 by 15 circle and I went with 15 just because that's actually how long. Get away from me still hit me. That's how long these straights are. So I figured, look at all these fish. That's how long these straights are. I figured maybe the 15 by 15, it'll add some continuity, it'll add some kind of pattern to it. Is that too small? I don't know. As it goes up, it's going to get thinner. I suppose we could have these four towers connected by an inner ring, and then we could then have a central structure as well. That could be pretty cool. And have it being bigger. Okay, I've just talked myself into that. So we're going to have the four pillars on the outside, have them connecting by either bridges is going in a circle so they curve around and hit them or bridges that go into the middle hit something and then spider web out that i think actually is a really cool idea get away from me stop it right now how did you not die in one shot maybe i need a better sword anyway i think that's quite a good idea now i tell you what i might build all four of these rings just so we have the actual idea there because i still don't know what they're being made out of i don't know if they're all going to be made out of the same thing if they're all going to be made out of different things if what's around them will match them there are a lot get away from me there are a lot of different variables that I have absolutely no idea what I'm actually doing yet. Where did that zombie spawn from? Oh, um... I just wish people wanted to sleep. I really, really do. Anyway. Oh, th I've got a mob spawner. Where are you coming from? There, maybe? What a weird place to have just three zombies spawn. Anyway, as I was saying, while I'm running... Oh, for goodness sakes, man. Anyway, I'm going to put in these four rings. I'll come back. It's not going to be anything impressive. I was going to say I'm going to come back and show you. They're just going to look like exactly like they did up there. So I'll be back. Hi, Lama. So currently, I have three of the four in. This one is the one you've seen. This one required a little bit of bamboo coming down. And then this 
one over here gave me a little bit of trouble just because of actually where it is on the hillside. Probably bring this up a little bit. However, so I'm saying I've only done three out of the four and that's for a very good reason. This one caused me enough hassle by just having that little, of course it's gonna rain. How is it always raining? Anyway, that one caused me enough hassle with a little bit being up on the hill. Over here, almost all of it will be. So until I fully decide how I'm gonna terraform the area, where I'm gonna put the river, what I'm gonna do with the biomes, I'm just not gonna bother. We have the three out of the four. We kind of have the slight idea of what we're doing. So I think that's enough. I'm gonna plan the river instead. I'm doing this in the hope that sometime soon there will be others here and we can go through. I can't remember if when you place the last one, whoever does it goes into the portal. So I'm gonna refrain. I'm just preparing because I am just so ready to go. Please, oh please, other people need to come with me. We've got some people coming online and we're gonna go kill the dragon. I can finally start flying. Woo! All right, so there's four of us. Let's go, shall we? Oh, I probably could have got a pumpkin. Right, what do I need? I want a potion of slow falling and I will save the rest. Yeah, a pumpkin would have been the smart option. Okay. Right, these endermen need to leave me be. Now, where it needs... I would have absolutely just slapped screen time in the mouth. Okay, so that stuff does not tickle. I was looking up at screen time. I didn't realize I almost died. Oh, heavens. So his fire really hurts. His breath really, really, really hurts. I almost died. Is he hurtable yet? I haven't done any damage to the dragon because these stupid long boys are ruining my whole life. Next time, note to self. Don't forget a pumpkin. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage. I feel like I actually helped that time <laughs> because I wasn't getting slapped in the mouth. Okay, right, stop looking at me. Y'all are evil. I am so thankful I looked down and saw that I was about to die. That would have been terrible. Who's up there just exploding? <laughs> Did the screen time just jump off and punch him on the way down? I kind of admire that, I'll be honest. Oh, he is dead. I was gonna say, because there's four of us, it's so easy because he doesn't just attack you. Oh, look at how much XP that is. Things you just love to see. All right, well, that went swimmingly. Now, how do we get the egg? Will you leave me alone? Thank you. All right, punch the egg. Now, where did it land? Aha, so now, do this, and then, just like breaking the sand, we do that, it falls, we have the egg. Okay, excellent. All right, now I guess we just go and try and find an elytra. Oh yeah, I forgot about chorus fruits. So if I need other blocks, I have stacks upon stacks, like I think 12 stacks in my ender chest to branch to the other islands, so we're good. Who's punching me? Oh! I should have brought a pumpkin. On second thoughts, before I go through there and try and explore and find my own elytra, I actually do need to head out for the day. Let's just get a quick little rendition of the end credits. I don't think I've ever sat and watched these all the way through, you know? Yay, there I am. I wonder what these actually say. We're gonna skip it. Like every other game I've ever played, we're just gonna skip it like nothing happened. When I come back online next, don't you worry, we'll be trying to get an elytra. Unless one of the lads is nice enough to get me an extra one, I'll buy it off them. Then we can go end busting ourselves. So I'll see you in a bit. So I am back and it is like at least 24 hours. It's not even close. My goodness, I left at like one o'clock yesterday. It's now 30 hours later. And I've built so much Ikea furniture. That if I ever see any again, it'll still be too soon. However, we're back and I'm gonna try and get myself an elytra and enough shulkers that I can feel safe and happy for as long as can be. Now, because I don't have my elytra, I'm just going to be going in and bridging across the void. I think for the time being, I am just going to record once I actually find something because I will just be concentrating on not falling to my death. Does that sound good? I'll see you at somewhere cool. So I know I said that I would come back when I see something interesting, but um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything interesting anywhere. This is kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm seeing my first little building. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an end ship, which means no elytra here, but I can already see little shulkers. So hopefully with looting three, we can get kind of lucky. Now, what is it these guys do again? Like they levitate you or something if they hit you with their spit. Oh, get away from me. Stop it. Like free shulkers already. I'm completely okay with that. Oh, I hate these stupid parkour bits. We all knew it was gonna happen eventually. See you at the top. Well, I'm at the top and I'm levitating. So, I mean, you know, thanks for the assist, my guys. Can I just get let down? Is there anything good in, oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Where's the vanishing? Oh, go away. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm begging. We're already up to five. Oh, there's so many in here. Come here.
they drop any? I don't think so. Even with looting three, they didn't drop any. Wow. I have no idea which way I came in. Well, I can make two shulker chests now back of the house. So, I mean, that's something at least. I'll see you when I find something else that's pretty cool. So, I'll be honest, these cities are a bit few and far between. My guy, can you not attack me while I'm trying to monologue? Leave me be. I'm just not finding any. Shut up and stop. Yeah, I'm just not finding any cities. And it's becoming a real issue. I have no idea if they're a rare spawn or whatever, but I found another portal back to the home world. So, I mean, at least, I guess, if I do find something around this area, I don't have to go back to where I came in. But I have never had this much trouble finding an actual end city before. This is getting ridiculous. After a very long time, I'm just coming to my second structure, but it's another one that just isn't a city. It's just another little build, which means, once again, no elytra. We can still get shulkers, but I really want an elytra. Another building down. I didn't get a single other shulker shell, even though I killed, I think, about nine of them, which is kind of horrible RNG. I got some okay diamond gear, but nothing special. And obviously, if I've got netherite, I don't need it anyway. So that kind of sucks. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I've already been there. I've kind of somehow gotten myself really turned around in here. I'm hoping that I've not been there, but I honestly have no clue. Once again, though, no end ship, which means no elytra. It just occurred to me that I didn't give the update on what I actually got from that last one, but I actually can't show you because I've moved everything into an ender chest. It's now been well over an hour since I actually came into the end and I started looking. This is going to be the end of me. No pun intended. This will kill me. Well, it was honestly bound to happen at some point. You can possibly tell by just how deflated my voice is. I... <sighs> So I had made it to about minus 8600. I still hadn't seen a city. My game started to kind of lag and I was getting a little bit of block lag when I was trying to mine out some end stone, but I didn't really think anything of it, but I probably should have like re-logged or crashed my game or something. I'm bridging out to another island in the hope to try and find another city. And then all of a sudden the blocks just disappear from under my feet and I fall straight into the void. Which means not only is that my first death of the series, but I have lost literally everything, which really, really kind of hurts. So now I'm not really sure what to do, to be honest. Oh, there's a zombie in my bamboo. Not only did I not find an elytra, I now have no armor, no tools, and it's just not great, to be honest. So from that last clip, I don't really know how much will be left in. It was a little bit off character. It wasn't off character. I had just literally lost all my stuff, so it was a very visceral, immediate reaction, and that's why I was so sad. I grinded last night for about five or six hours. I just went branch mining, I used some of the books I already had to get some enchanted stuff back. I've now got a good sword back. I've now got, I think, the best pick back. Luckily, my axe was in my end chest, as well as my shovel. I also had loads of enchantments left to put on my shoes. The rest of it will just get there in time. So really, it's not the end of the world, but it's still not great. From what I can tell, there is a bookshop now in the shopping district that Kiki has set up. So I'm going to go have a look, see if there's anything that I can use to get myself back up and running. And then that'll be how we end the episode because currently I can't really film much. I mean, I definitely can film stuff, but I would rather get all my stuff back and actually be in a good position rather than actually just try to build. Okay, great, cool. So here we have a lovely little Diamond X. I wish I could kind of say it was mine, but I have the luck of a broken shoe when it comes to mining, so here we are. What does that even? Shut up. Anyway, temporary pay zone because we're in the shopping district. We have a bookshop. And I'm not 100% what this shop is. However, I really like the design of it. Just in case there's anything we like, let's just take out a little bit of spending money. I'm really curious as to what this shop is, you know. I really like the chimney. That's so cool. Come to the cozy fox then. <gasps> Boys, we're home. Hi. Pay here, thank you, come again. Is this man selling foxes? What have I missed? I also can't lie. I am definitely enticed by that. I want a fox. Anyone's been watching my single player, you know I love foxes. How would I get him home? Oh, I would have to take him on a lead through the nether. Okay, let's keep that one in the maybe pal because I really want a fox, but I also really don't want to kill one going through the portal because I will literally cry real tears. Look at him sleeping. Now, this, I believe, is Kiki's bookshop. That I believe is a chicken under a half slab. This is book equals life, which if I could read, I'm sure I would agree with. What do we have? I know she's currently in the process of stocking it, but how cool is this floor? Oh, I quite like that, you know. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. 
Do I already have respiration on my helmet? Oh, that would have been a perfect enchant with a respiration. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any literature in there that I could myself enjoy. The stuff in there is like efficiency, which I don't need for my pick. It's good stuff for the sword, which I don't need. I would be here to get thorns, maybe some unbreaking. That would be a big help. Unfortunately, there aren't any of that for right now. However, I will be sure to check back in the future. So Kiki, if you are listening, protection and unbreaking, I'll throw diamonds at your face. I think for next time, I would like a shop here because I have had an idea in my head what I want. I just don't know how big it would need to be. So I know that one plot is one diamond block for a 10 by 10, two diamond blocks for 20 by 20 and so on and so forth. How big is a 10 by 10? So say if I want it to be here. <laughs> Bless me. That, I think, would be big enough, you know? I also have no idea if there's a height limit. I don't know if we can only go up 10 blocks or whatever, but that will probably be enough. So here we have Nintendo, or Nintorstendo, very hard to pronounce name. And over here, we have Rhodium. Big shout out to Screen Time for telling us how to actually fix the skin glitch. You can now see everybody's skin, so everybody is no longer Steve, which is a huge improvement, to say the least. How is this kid just gonna flex on me like that? What has just happened in front of my eyes? Mad. Not that I have any kind of feeling that anyone would doubt it anyway, but there we are. I have just bought my plot. So I'm gonna be down here, I think, possibly building a diamond shop. How are you gonna have a diamond shop? What do you buy it with? Anyway, I don't know if down there is where I want. Maybe slightly over, maybe. I think there actually will probably work. When you come in, you'll see it out of the corner of your eye. And hopefully, if I can make it the way I want it to, it'll be fairly eye-catching. So I have some work to do offline, but we have that to do for next time. We have to get all our stuff back for next time. Even though earlier on was a little bit sad, I think things are looking up. So there was some slight executive decision-making, and I'm no longer longer gonna be going down here. I'm gonna move slightly up there. Now, as a little sneak peek, mainly because I think I'm hilarious, there we go. That should pretty much give away what I'm up to. Anyway, I think we are at the end of today's episode. It was a lot more anticlimactic than I thought. I really thought I'd be flying by now. However, we did get the Ender Dragon killed. I kind of lost all my stuff. Hopefully, that's at least some kind of content for you. <laughs> if not, then what more could you want? I'm literally putting my body on the line here. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave a like. They help out the channel. They make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I know that you've liked them. So it's a win, win, win. And really, what more could you ask for? If you are new here and you would like to see more videos like this every three days you can subscribe to my channel if you don't like me you can just unsubscribe so having said that and with that being said i hope you stay out of trouble you don't do anything i wouldn't do and i'll see yous laters